Thank you. Well, it's expected. The crowd very good, getting very, very Thank excited. Thank you. That's enough. Now the referee has got to That's try enough, and keep please. control of this. This is pure theatre. Respect for both players. Well, if he's playing this red for the black, he doesn't want to miss it. Oh, what a shot. One. To be picky, would have loved to have been low in the black there, John Ducan and the reds away from the black spot, but what a shot. Yeah, that is being picky, but... Oh, were they a plant? Maybe not. I think if they had a been, he'd have played for them. I think he may have finished low on the black, as you suggested, but the, it's just that the red Eight. went in the left-hand side of the pocket as we looked. In the middle of the pocket, he may have had a good angle on the black. But it's first chance to Ronnie. He'll be feeling it now. He's only human. Nine. Yeah, but these are the situations where separates the best from the rest. He's just been pummeled for five frames. He hasn't gone to the cue ball there, though. With much too thin a cut in this red. It's definitely the most vulnerable I've ever seen Ronnie when approaching a winning line. 15. Good cut, but this cue ball needs to come away from the cushion. 16. Don't see how he's going to get the next red. To be fair, though, we can say that Ronnie's been vulnerable, but at 9-4, it looked like game over. Then it went 9-5, and, of course, then George clicked into a gear, which not many could have stopped. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 16. The pot. Just found the cue ball on the ball cushion, so Ronnie had his first chance. I think he probably would have rather just been able to see the pack there and actually play a safety shot. Shouldn't be any problem just rolling into the pack from the side cushion. But if he had to play a safety shot, if he catches it thick, he opens all the reds up. Pardons, Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. And it just shows you how it's quickened up. Judd Trump was at 21 seconds not long ago. Average shot time, average frame time was just below 17 minutes. Now it's 15 and a half, just over 15 and a half minutes. And that's all because Judd Trump has found another gear. Good safety from Ronnie. And as you say, Stephen, it's always best if you can find the cushion to force your opponent into playing a safety off the reds. They can always leave a pot on. That's okay, but it's not a great length for the cue ball. Well, when I came around to look at the pink, is he taking the pot on here? No. I know the red's right over the pocket, but this needs good cueing to follow through of two cushions for the pink to the right centre. Well, I bet Ronnie can't believe that red's gone over the corner. He played it cross double. He thought the red was going to kiss into the other reds. But he's gone right through the gap. He's got an excellent cue ball. But there's just enough angle here to be able to play this with pace and go back up the table. He's got to be accurate. It was that straight. Now, 
What a big shot this is on the pink if he decides to take it on. Wouldn't blame him if he wouldn't blame him if he didn't. But that's his natural game. Big big shot this. Absolutely superb. Seven. That was a phenomenal pot. Eight. And they have to play the pink up into the, the green pocket here to stay amongst the reds. Can't see where the next red's coming from. As he screws into those four reds below the pink spot. Yeah, giving it a bit of thought. I don't blame him. Because it's not straight to the far right corner. Could play it to the right middle, but still the problem of getting on the next red. Right middle it is. Right in the heart of the pocket. Now what's he on? What is he on? Not 40. a lot. Looking at the way he's turned round. If it had just stopped three inches short, he'd have had this red into the right corner. Just three inches too hard. Trump 14. Straightforward safety, but Ronnie is under pressure now with his safeties because he knows how well his opponent's hitting the ball. So he needs a good white. It's a pretty good one. It's not tight to the ball cushion, but as I say now, there's pressure on every ball. Yeah, I think when it comes into this situation, as long as you're not leaving pots on, it's a good shot. Mistake. Now he needs a bit of luck here. And he's had it. He's had it. Could be behind the green here, though, after this shot. <laughs> and behind the green he is. And it's a problem here. You do very well now, Judd, not to leave a pot on. I'm trying to find a path to a red. And it's not going to be easy. That is one way, but as you can see from the line, you have to go very, very close to the blue. But the only reason I picked that red out, the one closest to the top cushion, if he does make contact with that, he will not leave anything easy. But boy, he's got to pick the perfect line and the perfect pace. And in a deciding frame, when nothing looks easy anyway, this is very, very difficult. I think he's got to have one go at this. I wouldn't suggest the hit and hope just yet. So although it looked like Judd when he played the bad safety shot got away with it, Ronnie has punished him for that poor safety shot with the snooker behind the green. 
You may be thinking that red on the right-hand side of the table may just block the three-cushion escape, but I don't think it will. Well, going this way, how does he get it safe? How do you get it safe going this way? Oh dear. He knew as soon as he hit it, he hadn't hit it hard enough, but I still question the line he chose. And here's a chance now for Ronnie, who has had a bit of a scare, so don't take anything for granted. Six. Seven. Sat there, Judd, wondering whether his fight back was in vain. It looks like that. Great effort. Great effort to take us into a decider. But for all the potting and break building that these two great players are capable of, it could be that one snooker that has turned the match in Ronnie's favour. Coming up to five hours in what has been an enthralling match in every sense. 21. Yeah, it just sort of went along until 9 4, Ronnie picking up the pieces from the mistakes and then all of a sudden it's just caught fire. Incredible 27. last hour. Incredible performance by that man. Yes, and if he was to go on to lose this Judd, he can take a lot from it because we all saw at 9-4, it looked as though he was on the verge of giving up. But he managed to win that frame, and then that just gave him a boost to produce his best snooker of the match and take us to the decider. It was a tricky snooker to escape from, and he didn't do it, and that's why Ronnie's got this chance. But a mistake from Ronnie. 34. Can he just get past the blue? This is the red he played on, but... Yeah, right in the middle of the pocket, but not that good on the colour. This yellow will put him 47 points in front. So he's looking for one more red and a colour. And it goes... Where's the cue ball going? Oh, absolutely inch perfect. 37. Quick glance at the scoreboard. Red and a pink. And Judd will need the snooker. This pink will put Ronnie 54 points in front with just 51 remaining. And the fist pump from Ronnie because he must have been very concerned. And that young man put him under pressure. But that will mean now that Judd will not come back to the table. Well, what a feast of snooker they've given us this evening. And it nearly was tales of the unexpected. But as I say, Judd will shake Ronnie's hand and Ronnie will be mighty relieved. On, Ronnie. And the house shakes Thank you guys, what a great, great final. And uh, having a chat and a laugh with one another. Ronnie O'Sullivan has been absolutely superb in this tournament. Made a maximum 147. He now takes his fifth Coral United Kingdom Championship. He beats the Juggernaut who gave it everything by 10 frames to 9. Superb!